Hi everybody, Australian Mining for New Starters here. Um, today I just wanted to do a short video on the information that I normally give out when I do an information call. So if you fill this out and it comes to me, I give you get in contact and we normally have a chat about what, what's going on in the industry. And um, the things that I go through are tickets, basic um, requirements, where to look for your job and surviving the first six months. So those are the things that I will be talking about. Okay, so let's start with basic requirements and then we'll have a talk about tickets. So over here on the underground page, they've got some information that gives you an idea about what you basically need to do. So you be able, need to be able to pass a full medical, including drug tests. Um, you need a manual driver's license for underground. You need a HR license for open cut or surface work. Um, you need to be able to work 12 hours, able to work night shift. Um, can you fly in small planes? Because a lot of the um, planes that fly to site are only 20 or 30 seater planes, so it freaks some people out, and um, committed to working safely. But the big things there is, um, if you want to work on the surface, have a HR license, and if you want to work underground, it's just a manual car license. As part of the call or the information, I normally have to talk to a person about their understanding of how the ticketing system works. Because in hard rock mining, um, all the ticketing is state-based and the agreed method of doing everything is on-site ticketing. So you're not allowed to transfer your tickets from one site to another. When you move sites, you have to redo everything on the new site that you go to. Now, the reason for that is because in the WA mining um, regs, um, it says that the owner of the mine has to be able to prove to the mines department that they've done everything possible to train that person in every job that they can be expected to do on site. And the agreed method of um, gauging that is on-site ticketing. So when a mines inspector rocks up at site, one of the first places they go to is the safety and training room, and they have a look through all the training records to make sure they're up to date and all the tickets are in order. And it's like I said, um, that's not transferable, so when you move one site to another, you um, have to redo everything no matter how much experience you've got. Now, um, where the R2 competencies come in is in oil and gas, and oil and gas is a federal system, and that's why they can use the R2 competencies, and the other place that they use them is coal mining in Queensland. Everywhere else, coal in New South Wales and all the hard rock mines, um, they can't use those R2 tickets. They have to issue their own so they can show it to the mines department when they show up. Next in the call, I'd normally talk about where um, to go and have a look for the jobs. So I normally encourage the person to jump online to seek and type underground into the first box and then give it a spin. And you'll see all the jobs come up. Yep, over 1,800 jobs there. And um, going through them, you can see that they're looking for driller offsiders, which will be an entry level job. Um, Barminko are looking for entry level diamond driller on offsiders. Um, underground positions there. Lots and lots of jobs. Um, looking for fly and fly out of Brisbane. And all these truck driving jobs. While they all ask for experience, there is nobody, really, with any experience. Everybody that knows anything about hard rock underground mining that wants a job has got one. And that means that um, they're having to hire new starters for all these jobs. But the other reason why these there's lots of jobs around is because of the turnover that they have of new starters. If you go in green, not knowing anything on your first day, um, then you've got a three in five chance of um, failing in the first six months. Um, there's no easy way to sugarcoat it, and it just comes down to the fact that um, the people that can find their feet um, the quickest are the ones that survive. And again, coming back to our sponsor of the page, is the reason that they wrote this training, is um, to give a, a new starter to the industry lots of mining information that they can draw on, and um, they can um, understand before they get there to give you the best chance of survival. Then, last of all, I normally talk about how the course teaches you exactly how the mine works and the jobs you're going to be expected to do as a nipper, a truck driver or a member of service crew. 
And um, the reason that the employers interview people that have done the training is because this is the information that they want you to know. So when the job ad asks for experience, all this information in here is the knowledge that they want from that experience. Um, so if you come under the underground page and have a look, you can see a series of questions. And once you've done the training, you should be able to answer those questions. And that's what it's really easy to teach a person to drive a truck, especially if they've um, used a car before. Um, what's not so easy is to teach them the rules to mining so they can get themselves around without getting themselves into trouble. And that's the hard bit. And again, that's one of the reasons this training was written back in the day. And um, to get onto the um, do-it-yourself package, the um, Australian Mining for New Starters channel has got a $60, $60 off. This site comes down to $390 if you use the coupon code AMNS2019. And um, I tell everybody that the reason that the employers are interviewing you is because you should have learnt what's in this training. And so if you can get the mining questions right, then it becomes a big no-brainer. But if you find yourself umming and ahhing to the mining questions and you're not sure about stuff, then they're going to be awfully polite, but they're going to move on to the next person. Because the whole point of them interviewing you is that you were supposed to have done this course and learnt this important information about um, how the mine works and what you're going to be expected to do. And that's where the training works and where people get jobs. If you can um, learn the information and able to regurgitate the information in the interview, then it really is a big no-brainer for most employers. So I hope that information's helpful and I'm happy to answer any comments in um, the section down below.